No, I guess it isn't because I've got to swing this around and give you just a quick peek at this other project I'm working on. So hold on. All right. So let me turn this around so I can see hopefully what you're seeing. And I spent Saturday digging a massive hole in my front yard. <laughs> so yeah, so this is going to be a new landscaping feature that I am putting in. Um, one of the primary reasons for this is this, hold on, this water feature that sticks up in the middle of our yard. You can see the blue tip, whoops, see the blue tip on it right here. Um, I did not want to have that D installed, but it looks horrible sitting in the front of our yard. So, I decided um, all down this direction here, this is all going to be part of our circular sidewalk that's going to go all the way around the house. Um, so this is going to be a landscaping feature here that I've cut out. Um, it took me about eight hours to dig this hole out, uh, I think, again, Saturday. So I've got some... Um, topsoil that I am putting in there uh, to kind of help add some nutrients to this area and anyway that's all I'm going to show you about that today and I will catch you next time and give you an update on this project okay guys so I have got about 16 cubic feet of stay stay green tree and shrub garden soil with fertilizer um, put into my what looks like a kidney shaped swimming pool in my front yard. So I've got that down. I am going to spread this out a little bit. Ideally I would like to have about three times this much dirt um, but for cost savings um, I'm going with as min minimum as I can get. I can't see myself from here so I can't tell if I'm even in front. I have is not all that I'm going to be putting in here today. Um, some of the shrubs that I want um, I can't find at either this time of year or um, they just happen to be sold out at the moment. So, um, But I'm looking for some larger shrubs to go with, with the smaller ones that I have. So we'll get this spread out and um, I'll pick you up in a minute. Okay, so, sorry I'm out of breath. So, as you can tell, we've got the um, topsoil or potting mix, rather, whatever this stuff is. What I say? Tree and shrub? <laughs> Garden soil. Thank you to myself. Okay, so we've got that all spread out here. Again, I would love to have about three times this much. Um, but one advantage is I do have everything already trimmed out because uh, this is going to be mulched over when we're done. So it's anywhere between four and six, uh, possibly nine inches deep on some parts back here on this side. Um, so yeah, the edging and stuff is already finished, which is really, really nice. Um, but I just want to show you that part before we moved on. All right, so... I have got all the plants in the ground, at least the ones that I am going to be putting down initially. I'm going to try to back this up a little bit. And I've got to go get the mulch so I can mulch around everything. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm just trying to see through this tiny viewer. So to see if I could tell if this was actually working or not. Let me take this off the tripod. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> if you get motion sick, no matter how hard I try. All right, so hopefully you can see a, a little better over here. And I'm gonna go over the plants that I've got in here. I've got some more larger ones that I've got to purchase. So 
you know, as you can still tell, I've got my containers laying everywhere. Um, but I think I'm going to be pretty happy with this, um, at least initially. So yeah. All right, so let me get you back on the tripod, and then I'm going to go over the plants that I've got in here. All right. So I apologize. I'm out here in front of the road. I hope the traffic is not uh, too loud. But let's see. All right, so back along the edge that's going to be next to where the sidewalk is, I have 20 silvery sunproof Geez, another word I can't pronounce. Um, I have no clue how to pronounce this. L-I-R-I-O-P-E. Lirio, Lirio, I have no idea. I will be putting that up on the screen. Um, so I have 20 of those. It's the, um, it's kind of like an ornamental grass. It's a ground cover that usually has these little purple flowers on it. Then we've got uh, barbecue rosemary. It is barbecue. Barbecue rosemary. It's these right here. Um, I have six of those. I actually have those in pots as well. I absolutely love um, that rosemary. I have a few of the fescue ornamental grasses. Um, And what are the pines? Oh, here we go. Uh, Blue Pacific Shore Junipers. And these are ground covers. I'll be curious to see how this does. Um, they grow one foot high, but they spread six feet in width. Um, so I will probably have to keep them trimmed out quite a bit. Um, again, in the wider parts of this um, landscape area, I am saving for some taller shrubs. Um, I just haven't found what I'm looking for yet and when I do hopefully I will know it. I would like to get something with a little bit of color in the leaves, maybe something with some purple foliage um, and possibly something maybe even with a little bit of yellow um, foliage in there. Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, but this area I may or may not put some perennial flowers uh, but probably this year um, unless I catch some on sale I probably won't put anything in here I really just want this to be um, a place that I don't have to spend a lot of time working on um, I've got enough other places for that so as far as having to water every day because I have no irrigation anywhere here on the property so everything that I have I have to water manually um, so I'm not looking on increasing my watering time every day by any means. So, but anyway, that's what I've got here. Again, I think I mentioned this earlier. I've already got this edged out. I've just got to go get some mulch. We'll put the mulch down um, and this will be considered mostly done. Um, again, once I find some um, taller shrubs that I may want to put out, I may put some of those in there. Um, I'd really like to have, what are they called? Burberry, Burberry's? They've got little thorns, but they've got uh, small purplish leaves. I'll look it up. You probably know what I'm talking about. You guys are better with these names than I am. Um, I wouldn't mind having a few of those in here as well. I just want to make sure that when winter comes that I still have um, a focal point in the yard that is green. And um, so that's something else I've been keeping in consideration while I've been doing this. So. All right, guys, that's going to be it. I'm going to clean this mess up. I'm going to rake and smooth out the dirt a little bit. Apologize for the noise. And um, if I have any energy, energy, any energy left, I may run to Lowe's and see about getting some more mulch. I think I saved just enough money to get the mulch. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. Okay, guys, so... Let me get this on. So today is Saturday. Um, what day did I start this project? I don't remember what day I started this project. Um, I'll know when I go back and look at the videos. But anyway, we're probably four or five days later. Um, some other things have been going on. I haven't had a chance to get back to this project, but I am determined to get this thing done today. 
Um, I hate it when projects run over multiple days. It drives me nuts just leaving something undone like that. Um, again, it just makes me crazy. So anyway, we're going to get the mulch down. Um, I've got a couple of new plants, um, denim and lace, I think they were, they were called, kind of a bluish color leaf. I'll show those to you in a little bit. Um, I added those to the mix, and other than a couple of large shrubs, I think that is all that's going to be going in this for right now. Um, after I get it mulched, I will know whether it really needs anything else. At some point in time, maybe next year, you know, we might start adding in some blooming perennials to put some color um, into this area. But other than that, that's where we're at. Um, I've got my bags of mulch, my no-float cypress mulch, which I absolutely love. Um, I've been to Lowe's. Uh, the mulch was wet. Um, it rained last night. The mulch was wet at Lowe's, so I am already covered in mud, and I'm hardly getting started. So, but anyway, getting dirty is part of the part of the game. So we will um, get started on this, and we is in me, and I think that is it for right now. So let's just get this mulch done, so we can call this project 99% complete, and uh, move on to something else. Okay. Okay guys, so we got the mulch down, and I am beyond disgusting. I've kind of taken disgusting to a whole new level today. God, it is hot and humid. Um, so I'll pick up the camera in just a second and take you around um, the new landscaping area that I've done. And, uh, but yeah, I am so glad to have this finished. Um, digging this out has actually created another area. Like all the dirt had to go somewhere, so I'm using it to build up an area on the side of our house. So I've got piles and piles of dirt over there that I've got to do something with, uh, get spread out, evened out, and whatnot. But I'm going to pick up the camera and show you what has happened. All right. And I'm sorry, the truck is still in the way. I've got mulch um, in the back of it that I'm still going to use close to this area. So I didn't want to move it too quick. All right. So I'm standing in our driveway. And I've spread some mulch around this tree and filled up the new landscaping area. Um, the landscaping back here next to the porch, um, I have a very, very thin layer of um, new mulch there. I just wanted the mulch to match. Um, the other one was a little bit more weathered. Um, so yeah, right now we don't have any flowering um, plants in here, and that's okay. I know that. Um, this is the first year, and I'm just trying to get the base of it down. Um, I'm hoping to see whether or not these plants make it through the winter uh, before I invest in any any more in here. Um, now, clearly, the um, what prompted this entire project was this water spout, and clearly, it's still visible. Um, I haven't yet determined how I'm going to disguise that. I'm looking at some rain barrels. Um, some other kind of yard decorative things. Um, if that doesn't work, we're gonna be planting some shrubs around it. So um, this is what it's looking like so far. Uh, this area all down through here uh, with this grass is going to be sidewalk and it's gonna loop around the corner back, I can't even see my finger, back here um, around the trunk of the uh, tree. So it's gonna kind of circle around. Um, our porch is a circular porch. And um, I apologize, I haven't got to sweep off or clean off the porch this morning. Uh, but the sidewalk, um, in theory, will come all through here. I'm, I may even do a big, large, round area here in the front, and it will circle around to the other part around the entire back of the house. So that's the plan for the sidewalk. Um, but anyway, I am about 85% happy with this project. Uh, don't know that what I would have done any different, but I'm still not... I got 15% still unsure, but I think maybe that's because I don't have any blooming plants in there or anything else. I may get some more solar lights. Um, I'm a solar light junkie. Um, I might get some solar lights to put in there. It still needs something else to spruce it up a little bit. And again, I, I think when we get some flowering plants in there, it's going to make a huge difference. Um, I do like having this area around the tree trunk mulched and I know it looks like I just kind of threw it up on there because I did just kind of throw it up on there um, but that's a project for another day the roots come out so far and you can kind of tell how this is slanted through here um, and over here on where are we at over here on this side 
Um, so the roots are very, very high up off the ground and it's going to take a lot of digging and a much larger structure to circle that in. Um, I'd love to have a big giant uh, circular bench around there, but I can't. Um, may have to do a half moon shape or something. I don't want to block anything here on our driveway. Um, at some point in time, I would love to have this uh, with some cement or asphalt. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, that's where we're at so far. Um, this, again, is the view kind of as you come in to the driveway. So I think it adds a nice new feature. Again, nothing. Considering the budget I've had to work with, I think that's pretty good. Um, so I'm going to walk you down here. God, I am trying so hard to keep this camera still. Um, so here you can kind of start seeing piles of dirt. All down through here is just probably three feet or higher of dirt that's all got to be spread out. This side of the house is kind of a... Oh, God. It's kind of a interesting one. Um, the South Carolina sun and being up against the house and with this gravel driveway, it gets so hot that everything out here baits. These poor shrubs, um, these here, these yellow looking leaf ones, um, they're probably four years old now and they they may have doubled in size. Um, they should be massive by now, but again, the heat out here just really, really works a number on them.